La 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 la. Okay, let's see if we can wrap this one up. Plastic tipped or zinc coated legs or chairs. This is from the repair in 2009. 2009 when they were working on the deck there and the balconies including. That they were, so we have these, what appear to present in that core sample as a plastic tipped end. So th there we have that. Now, I've, uh, you know, they, they were also were allowed to use grade number two bars at 40, 40K SI. Uh, um, 40, 40,000 PSI uh, tensile strength. How's that? Grade 40. They use 60 here. So they, they used a mix of bars in their repairs. Um, interesting, again, is that, oh, I don't know if I mentioned it yet. And I've got a few videos backed up. So I'll mention in this one. The uh, zinc coating was applied to the exposed reinforcement once they reinforced, uh, when they were reinforcing and repairing these decks. So we did not, we have not seen that yet in any NIST images, but here is the, let me pull this one aside a little bit. Okay, here is the, is the, the specifics. 1108, this is where it was repaired. So if you want to know where it's repaired, it appears to be you know, in very, very small locations. Nothing to to write home about at this point. I mean, of course, of course, fix it, but um, I was hoping to find something critical, like, you know, around the columns here. But they're out in the, so far, they're all out in the cantilever part of the deck, possibly by the railings causing some uh, rust jacking and fracturing and kind of exposing the rebar that way. Look, so it's all around the air, railing areas. So that's one of the, 1007 again out there. So, and there's the unit numbers right there. You can pause the video. So, I have these out here by the railings. Uh, this one obviously is not a railing. This is unit uh, upside down 812. It's a small, oh well, one section. Um, 702 again out there by the railings. And they do, they do have a plan to repair them. It's all part of this plan here engineer but the repair person I find is interesting it's a painting company I find that my word I would say appalling um, I think it maybe it's typical for a painting company to do uh, structural repairs I don't I don't see that happening I think I mentioned that in a previous video I find that very odd all right so this one's got a little bit worse second floor it's like 212 212 just wrap around there it's not looking, you know, that's a significant area. Um, they had to submit these plans like that. Here's the shoring, uh, just three floors down. So this is the floor being worked on, and full shore, full shore, and then a single shoring member here. Um, so one, two fully braced, and then the third one down is a single post. Uh, and they do they do rate the post at fifth at five thousand k capacity. Um, four by four treated lumber type material. Uh, uh, four by four, did they treat it? No, just four by four. So that was the supports. They, they did mention they should stay fully supported while they're doing all this work, like this. So there were going to be no chances. You didn't just free fall, free, you weren't a free agent to do it. Um, the painting, concrete restoration, and stucco repair. And the company, again, is a painting company. Um, as identified um, here. Now, here are the inspections. What, what's what's kind of interesting about these inspections are they are again, once again, AT Design is going to be a special inspector. So there's your plastic tips. I don't know which way to go on this. Okay, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Let's see. Let me try that. And desktop and come up to about there. Oh, that's weird. It won't let me pull it up. Hold on, let's try it again. All right, so they allow for a special inspector. Uh, 
the uh, which was themselves. So the company, I'll find it for you just now. There's epoxy injection. Your priming between uh, your concrete repairs would be its primer would be will take place, um, and then your repairs the way they taper it off. It's all specified there. Um, shoring shall be used um, at all work areas, so shoring shall not an option. No material shall be placed until the engineer has observed and approved the preparation. Okay. Uh, they'll do chloride test, content uh, chloride test of a, uh, let me move it over. The contractor shall conduct tests to determine the chloride content gradient of the concrete to avoid increased corrosion potential. So it was really a good report, you know, pretty outstanding um, product there. I mean, uh, uh, specifications. I've gone through all the specifications. They're using a water reducer. Um, you know, they're dressed cracks of all sizes, the PSI, the, the pavement, how to prep it, uh, get it, get the sound materials from 4,000 PSI, power washer to mechanical means, uh, that, that would be like a wire brush. Um, talking about the air train mix, it, they hit everything on this. They didn't leave a stone unturned. They did actually, because they... They said it should meet the requirements. They didn't talk about the stone exactly, uh, the, besides the uh, chloride content. There's your plastic tip chairs. They did hit the humidity. Well, you're going to be placing it. Um, special contractor slab. There's the slabs. Um, this is 2009. They even made sure that people speak English there, that there's a foreman there that can speak English. So they addressed that. They address the uh, how are you going to uh, oxalic acid? How uh, they talked about he made it clear that the uh, existing stucco is marginally adhered, so 4,000 psi. How to prep with TSP, sodium phosphate. Um, pitting on metal surfaces, how to deal with it with fiberglass and body filler, which I really like that. I had to check that off because I still do that to this day. Um, cracks and stucco, the size, how they're going to be dressed. Again, this is the May 9th um, permit. This is the Florida, uh, Florida Choice Painting is the contractor. Not structural repair company or whatever, but somehow they get the 19000 job cost, $215 job, um, which is repair, see, which is a... Uh, you know, very, very weird to me. Now, they give, uh, and there's a, the, the footage, et cetera, and so of course it might have gone extra, and then he charges extra. But a two hour approval time, this shows that that town of Surfside um, approves it. And notice the building department of employers, right? This checkbox right here special inspector for concrete restoration. And these are two inspectors they'll be using to represent the engineer and company, Timothy S. Marshall, PE. So this is uh, interesting that they're back to the special inspector again. Now, some of you guys would hate that idea. It seems like a conflict of interest, etc. It, it is. It is a conflict. Um, the special inspector is the same person that, you know, that, that might... The, 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 the problem is that they get too friendly with the contractor and maybe these people don't show up and the contractor says yeah we did it exactly like you said we did this and that, and then it said okay cool go ahead move on then well nevertheless these repairs shown in this 2009 report um what you can glean from it is that they use special inspector and the a painting company doing them they're also Even though they say they're structural, you're going down to the steel and all that, I I wouldn't get too crazy about it. Um, there's the, these are the reports of a special inspector, the engineer reports. Um, so interesting in another um, not in this document, but another one I found where the inspector says the engineer says the town of Surfside did not show up. 
the town of Surfside did not show up. Let's see if I can get to that without too much drama. Um, hmm. I didn't post this video yet. I wasn't ready for this. I'll give you a hint at it. The roof um, is not. It was June 23rd. It says partial pass. Remember the building collapses the next, not the, the 24th, the morning of. So this says partially passed. So if you guys want to hunt somebody, it would be James, Mc, James McGinnis at this point. Um, what's noteworthy is that um, the, the chronological order of these, uh, well, no, this one's good. That's 918, it's 932. Wait a minute, let's go up one. Um, 877 Collins, 918, 937. Okay, where is it? 890, huh. Now I can't find the one that was chronologically out of order. This presents as chronologically in order. This is legit. The red, I believe, it means that the inspection, it did not pass. You, you see a partial pass, but it's still open. Um, so this is weird. So that roof or whatever they were doing there, you guys wanted to do your FOIA request. If some of you people do FOIAs that watch my channel. And ironically, you guys should see that somebody thought they were commenting to, uh, to uh, on, on, on Jack's channel. And they were commenting, giving them all these nice compliments. They got mixed up. They were commenting on my channel and complimenting him. So they come over here and they take my uh, they take my information, and then they they learn from me, and then they go flying over there trying to uh, um, comment and share. Whereas uh, as I've discovered, because somebody sent me there. He's just over there in engine tips trying to learn how to do concrete and things like that. He has no idea. He's way out of his depth. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'd like to pull that up for you. Um, let's see if I can do that for you. He's way out of his depth, and he's over there trying to find out do you prime concrete. And then they said no. They told him no. Well, this calls for prime concrete on repairing. So the person... Gave him, uh, it's a yes and a, it's a yes and a no. Um, you do prime repairs. You prime repairs surfaces, all of them, the concrete even. Um, but now, so and that matters in in this structure. The uh, existing structure, whole joints, you don't, uh, they don't get primed. No one, no one typically primes them. They get um, keyweighed. And they get uh, doweled rebar reinforcement going across. And we already talked about that not happening. Um, let's see if I can get you. Uh, hmm. Yeah, another time. We'll just end it with that. That this roof is not, was not complete. The roof was not complete. This, so if you guys do that deep diving into uh, FOIA requests, here's your FOIA request you'd want to link into the true 11. This one here, the link number, to find out what's going on there. I can't find more details at this time. I'm still working on it. Um, somebody beats me to it, so be it. All right. Take care. Bye.